prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Please, you first. I insist. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? I just need to rest a moment. Right here. I will just rest here. Damnably cold out here. I don't look forward to the trip back down. I'm paid to wait to take you home. Enjoy yourself. Perhaps we might share a carriage after the party. I know, I know. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank you, sir. Go right in. The Thalmor Embassy welcomes you. myself a dream. Good. Yeah, the party is already started. Right on in. The party is already started. The Thalmor Embassy welcomes you. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me Ambassador, more about I yourself. So what brings you to this... <sighs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam I've Ambassador. Spent many hours with you. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. Solve our problems, just like in the tales of old. The Grey Quarter in Windhelm is little better than a slum. It's shameful that the Dark Elves are made to live that way. I'll not argue that. Heard any interesting gossip lately? Well, I did hear that the Argonians have been banned from living inside the walls of Windhelm. They're only allowed on the city docks now. Most of them sleep together in one building, and they're as poor as wretches. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door, and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Here you go, sir. The finest Colobian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? We seem to have run out of Colobian brandy. I'll check in the wine cellar for more when I get a moment. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. I'm sorry, sir. I'm on duty. Sorry, sir. I'm on duty. If your eyes and your ears are open, and your mind is free of judgment and expectation, you might learn much in this chamber. Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. 
There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. May wisdom light your path. Trust me, there's no place better to forge relationships with the movers and shakers of Skyrim. Oh, hello there. I didn't expect to see you here. Yes, I am indeed. Elenwyn always serves the best wine at her parties. The food is excellent as well. Though I confess, being surrounded by so many wealthy and important people makes me feel more than a little nervous. Oh yes, quite. So many important people from all across Skyrim. Don't let me keep you. What can I get for you? I'm sorry, but I think you've had enough for the moment. Until next time. At least Ulfric's men are willing to fight for their principles, barbaric as they may be. There are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. Until next time. I lead the Justitiars. We are charged with enforcing the ban on Talos worship. Nords can be quite stubborn. They're slow to change their ways, and we find more heretics every day. But mark me well. I will purge the heresy from this land as surely as the flame burns the flesh from the bone. There is peace now, and that peace will continue for as long as it suits our needs. But make no mistake. This is not a peace forged out of necessity between rival nations of equal strength. It is more like the calm between storms. And the next storm, I think, will be far deadlier than the last. Until next time. I don't recall seeing you at one of these before. And I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. to maintain relationships. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. We have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire, but I do respect power, and the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. Until next time. One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. The East Empire Company has interests all across Tamriel, inside and outside the Empire's borders. We try not to get involved in politics. However, as the head of the company, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships with prospective partners and investors. A delicate question, to be sure. I'm the Emperor's cousin, and the Empire has little love for the Thalmor. On the other hand, the Thalmor have considerable funds and are looking to expand their shipping. I haven't signed any deals yet, but I'm sure my cousin would want to cut if I do. What better way to soothe his wounded pride? Come and visit me in solitude sometime. Isn't this something? 
Ellen one really knows how to host a party. Very much so, yes. Ellen Wynn's parties are always so elegant. She really has impeccable taste. My only regret is that she doesn't host them more often. I beg your pardon? You must have me mistaken for someone else. I am Elisif, widow of High King Torig and Jarl of Solitude. Lucky for you, I possess a forgiving nature, and I'm not easily insulted. It was a pleasure, thank you. These Thalmer know how to treat a guest. I've known her long enough to appreciate her excellent taste in food and wine. And also long enough to respect her importance to Skyrim. She plays a vital role in rooting out the forbidden worship of Talos. As far as I'm concerned, those Talos worshippers get what they deserve. All they do is cause problems for me and the other Jarls. Yes, I know what you mean. Most Nords struggle to accept change. Those who fought the Thalmor in the Great War still see an enemy. But that war is over, and a new day has dawned. Besides, the Thalmor reward their friends richly. Anyone who doesn't take advantage of that is a stubborn fool. Until later, then. I the hospitality of the Thalmor Embassy is at your service. Quite often, yes. The only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury with those who can appreciate it. But I also enjoy learning the latest gossip and hearing the most intriguing rumors. Of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim and then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. One of my main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim, although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. The Thalmor Justicias are so often misunderstood. Our primary goal is to preserve the peace between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. The worship of the false god Talos contributed to the unfortunate friction that led to the Great War. Following the Great War, the White Gold Concordat set out the terms for peaceful coexistence between the two powers. The Empire and the Dominion agreed that the worship of Talos was a relic of the past and must be eliminated in the interests of peace. But I'm sure you didn't come here for a lecture on high politics. One of my... I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim, although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. As long as the Empire continues to uphold its treaty obligations, my government does not concern itself with the internal politics of Skyrim. Do enjoy yourself. I came here hoping to learn that more Imperial reinforcements were on their way to Skyrim, but so far, I've been disappointed. Well enough, I suppose. Elinwen puts a great deal of effort into these parties, and it shows. I just wonder what her real motivations are. That woman is inscrutable. For now, perhaps. But I've heard disturbing rumors that they're marshalling their strength. I suspect the treaty that ended the war was just a tactic to buy time so the Thalmor can rebuild their armies. I hope I'm wrong. I'm not sure the Empire can afford another war. Good speaking with you. The hospitality of more embassy is at your service. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? You must be new around here. Bad manners to ask such a direct question in one of Ellenwyn's little soirees. 
But I have nothing to hide. I'm in from the south on business. And if you want to do business in Tamriel these days, well, you'd better get used to cozying up to the Thalmor, like it or not. I need another drink. The Great War is long past. It's time the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity is good for everyone. You must be new to Skyrim or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance, Solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> Not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well then. There's a likely looking filly, even if she is an elf. You there, serving girl! What's your name, dear? Ah, oh, Brailer, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? No, no, that's not what I'm interested in right now. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Was there anything else I could do for you? Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Go far. Yes, sir. With the soldiers all fighting in the war, there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Travel has become dangerous of late. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's been some time since I've had news from elsewhere in Skyrim. What have you heard? I'm not sure that it's news, but lately it seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim is out to prove that he's the equal of Yorlin Grainmane. It's not really a fair comparison if you ask me. After all, Yorlin works the Skyforge. How is any smith going to compete with that? Are the dragons frightening your people? Did as you much as see that friends? serving girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear elf time. women are insatiable. Really? Yes, maybe that would be just the thing. She seemed to be playing hard to get when I spoke to her earlier. Go on. See what she says. These storm cloaks are nothing more now you've than gone and gotten my hopes up this again. This war won't last much longer. I couldn't agree more. By the way, have you heard any interesting rumors lately? I hope you're enjoying yourself, well, sir. I did hear that the Argonians have been oh, banned. Erica, right? He was talking to me earlier. I could tell what he was after. I hate working these parties. Some of the guests are nice, but there's always a few like Erica. Please tell him to leave me alone, politely. I'm sure you'll have better luck getting through to him than I would. Until next time. Have you found the Empire is getting provisions? To have the support of the Thalmor during this difficult, difficult time, time my palace. We've had the same troubles. These are troubling times indeed. Have you talked to Braylus yet? I'm not a patient man, you know. Are you enjoying the party? I have no complaints. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. Men. No woman yet born has been able to resist my charms for long. Thank you, my friend. I owe you one. Hello, my dear. But you must have misunderstood. Your message. I'm not permitted to leave the party. Oh, I don't think so. I think I understand perfectly. 
Don't worry, my dear. I will make any necessary excuses to your employer. No, I'm sorry, but I can't go anywhere with you. I won't. Please, I must get back to my duties. Don't you dare walk away from me, you slut! Do you know who I am? Please, sir, leave me alone. Now you're going to be sorry you crossed me. Ellen Webb, this servant girl has been throwing herself at me in a most disgusting manner. Let's go, let's go, before anyone notices us. Sensibilities. It must be the mercy of said. I demand that you have this removed from the presence of me at once. Well, never been true. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. I did nothing. You... You don't know what they'll do to me. Please. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Well, I'm the glad that little unpleasantness a is over. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zabani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Go! Out! Before I change my mind. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Come on. If someone misses me at the point, we're both dead. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead.
Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Let me do the talking. Did Good you luck. see those robes You're on your own this now. morning? Who are they with? More of the Emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky, and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds.
Can't hide from me. Ah! There you are. There you are. Me. 